going to build an automation that will automatically notify submitted candidates when a job closes. So we're going to build this as a submission based. We'll just title it descriptively. So the first thing we're going to do is create our list. Again, always up, always updated. Okay. So the first trigger we're going to look at is a submission status. So we're going to want to highlight any submission statuses that don't indicate that the that the candidate has already been kind of communicated with. So like these, for example, you know, like a rejected or a not interested or a client rejected, presumably if that status is selected, then the candidate's already been communicated with or you're sending a, a personal manual message. You could also do that through Herefish. You could do an auto message for each of these individual submission statuses if you wanted to. But something like this, um, again, you can kind of cater this to however you want to. We'll just, we'll just do that for the time being, but you could add additional statuses in. The, the idea there is you want to grab basically any status that indicates that the candidate is in limbo somehow, that they you know could be um, still be considered for the role. They think that there's still a possibility for it. And then the other criteria we're going to look for is submission job is open. And we're going to do is no, which means that the job has closed. So as soon as that job closes, anybody that's in one of these submission statuses would come into this list. So that is our trigger condition. We can send you know, a text message or an email to the candidate. Uh, we'll just do an, an email here as an example. You know, so here um, you can have this come from whoever submitted them the job owner the, their candidate owner whatever is going to be the best way for them um, and again we can pull in information here call this kind of whatever you, you'd like but just but the idea being here you, you can let the candidate know Hey, the job's closed. You're no longer going to be considered for this role. Let them down gently. Um, you know, bad news is better than not hearing anything at all. So um, you know, they can certainly be appreciated. And the nice thing about this as well, and so just kind of give you an idea of, of what this message could look like. Let's see, we can just put job title. And the nice part about this as well is you can include, um, you can include the, the job kind of special links here as well. So, you know, you could say, Something like this, and then you could put in these these job merge tags. So you, not only you, you're letting them know what's happening, but then you can also let them know uh, what other jobs are potentially available. We'll just put three in here. You can put up to five. So you can kind of kill two, two birds with one stone. You can get more kind of eyes, eyeballs and, and visitation to your, your job site, but you can also ensure that no candidate is left wondering if they're still going to be considered for a role. Um, so you can have the communication side of it. So you let the candidate know, but then what you can also do is we can update this actual submission inside the database as well. And then we could change the submission status to something like, you could create one like here fish auto close. So then it would just, you'd know that you know, the job closed and that's uh, the reason that their submission status stayed that way.
it would be a great way to not only communicate with the candidate, but then clean up your submission data so you know um, kind of what each submission status actually means in your system.